What's up, movie lovers? This is Jay Spice Films with Food Here, and today I'm excited for today's video. Uh, we're doing a trailer reaction for the new official trailer for Scoob, which is the new Scooby Doo movie coming out. It's uh, all CGI, so it's not live action this time. And I've been excited for this. Uh, I mean, I was like, oh, okay, cool, they're doing a new Scooby-Doo movie. Uh, but then I saw the pictures that they posted, and the animation looked really good. Like, it, the art style and everything. And yeah, Fred doesn't have the ascot, but they're just trying to make it a bit more modern, you know? And the Mystery Machine pretty much looks the same, but they got, like, a little more technology, gadgets on it. But, yeah, we're just going to get into it. And I want, I don't have it on full volume, because I want you guys to be able to hear me still. So, yeah. Let's just watch now. Hey, I'll turn it up a bit more. Oh, it feels weird to hear Shaggy not be Matthew Lillard. But first we need a trailer. Oh, oh, can you do the trailer guy voice? Oh, let me give it a shot. In the world. Destroyed by evil. <laughs> Discover the epic origin story of the greatest team of heroes. This is awesome. In the history of mystery. <laughs> Not bad. Nailed it. I'm taking a sip here. Oh, this is cute, man. This baby spray is coming with me. It's not a spray. Okay, then. What's his name? His name is hey, Scooby. Middle yeah. name. Doobie. Last name. Doobie. <laughs> right. This is wholesome, man. Why is Spooky? Scooby's speaking, he's not using R's in every sentence. See, there's no R's in there. Oh, I wonder what... Oh, Falcon and Dino. Uh, I don't know. So they're like teenagers in there? Sorry, I paused because I want to make sure my dad wasn't coming home. And just because it'd be kind of awkward. <laughs> Look at that. Hmm. Oh, is this actual supernatural stuff? Do you realize where we are? Nope. Look around, man. The clean, modern aesthetic, the cool blue color palette. We're in Ikea. The Falcon Fury. Did you say Ikea? Nope. I said Falcon Fury. Just like you. Okay, so they straight up have blue Falcon in this. I don't really know anything about him. I just know he exists. Mustache oil. Twelve-year-old scotch. Ugh. The bad guy might. <laughs> There's a R said rummer instead of summer. Alright, and I gotta get out of here. Alright, I'm gonna like that. That looks good. That looks really fun. Um and it's not very disrespectful to the franchise. It it's something different, but it still feels very classic. And it's got, yeah, it's got, like, new animation, uh, a different origin story, because they already did an origin story for the, uh, I don't know if it was actually connected to the mid-2000s movies, like, the early 2000s live-action movies. But they had, like, this Cartoon Network TV movie that was live-action that was an origin story, but it looks different than that, and it looks better than that. Uh, so I like that they're kind of young, because they actually look young, because I'm pretty sure they were supposed to be teenagers in the original show. But they didn't like Fred. He just always looks old just because of the mascot, isn't it? But I like that they're doing something different. They're making it an origin story and they're making it with like a uh, Blue Falcon, which I don't know anything about him. I just know that he's another Hanna Barbera cartoon. Uh, I just hope that doesn't take away from like the Mystery Inc. gang because I hope it's not like their first mystery and then. Blue Falcon helps them solve it. That's probably... I'm not going to complain too much. I want them to, like, be the ones to do it in the end, 
you know, because if this is an origin story and it's their first mystery that they're solving, they should do it as a team by themselves. It's cool that you got them in there, and I just hope they don't have, like, a bunch of references. I'm not going to understand any of them anyway, but they shouldn't be trying to set up this cinematic universe with all these cartoons. Because it looks like that's what they're doing. It should be more subtle references, which it actually does look like that, to be honest. So I don't know why I just complain. I'm just like, do it like Iron Man. And not, I never saw it, but like the Universal Studios Mummy movie with Tom Cruise from a couple years ago. Like, Iron Man started a cinematic universe basically because it was a good movie that focused on itself, had a couple references. That's what this needs to do. That's how you just, if you want to start a shared universe, just do that. And I just realized if I back up the quality of my face, like, visual quality looks better. I know I'm not drinking water, gotta hydrate, but I'll start drinking some. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for today, but I just wanted to say that today actually is the actual two-year anniversary of starting my channel. So, just a quick, if you even watch this part, maybe you'll just watch the reaction then, but thanks to subs uh, everyone who subscribed, uh, thanks to everybody who watched, thanks to everybody who left me a comment, even if it was like criticism, like, get a better web webcam, dude, but if you're saying that, you're probably not watching this anyway. <laughs> I don't know, just thanks for everybody supporting me, and I know I'm not very consistent, and my content's a little bit all over the place, but yeah, uh, that's gonna be it for this video. I'm really excited for this movie, this looks good. Summer 2020 this looks really fun, and yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, so this is Jay Spice Swims with Food. I'm saying bye. Bye!